Previously on Preps. This is where I come from, man. This is this is real life. Najib Echoes, a past of poverty. This was our stove. That's our stove. One of Eddie Curry's best friends. One of the best high school players in the country. And one step away from his dream. It's good to know that people don't recognize me. And I'm in the NBA stadium. Now I feel good about myself. Let's prep. Uh, come on, come on. In Chicago, high school basketball is more than just a game. It's a dream that starts on the playground. Where you can carve a path to glory. Hundreds hope, few make it. These are their stories. I'm Eddie Curry, 6'11", 290 pound center, Thornwood Thunderbirds. My name's Kyle Kleckner, 6'185 pound shooting guard, from Downers Grove North High School. I'm Sean Docker, I play for Junior High School. Point guard, I'm a junior, I'm 18 years old. The preps of Chicago Hoops. Dang, dude. Friday afternoon. Oh and Eddie Curry's chilling, waiting for his boys Jason Strait and Najib Echoes. I got white people over here. <laughs> <laughs> I got white people. What's up, G? I got white. I ain't know no white people in the projects. They don't live in the projects, dog. You feeling that building, G? Huh? Lead down, lead down. You hold me down, lead down, lead down. You hold me. Eddie, Najib, and Jason all got tickets to the Bulls game against the Clippers at the United Center. What's up, Raji? What's up, Dad? Just call me Fox Sports. <laughs> What's up, Dad? Eddie, Jason, and Najib. Free the hard way. Boys and players for life. In my situation, it's hard to trust people, so, I mean, when you have somebody like that you can call on at any time of the night, whether it be him or Najib, uh, I think that's real special. I think it's trust, trust and love. We develop a real strong bond with each other. Um, I mean, it's just like that with us. Najib goes to school at Morgan Park on the south side of Chicago. His locker's next to Quinnell Brown, the top player on the team. Quinnell and Najib on the court together would have been a force. You gotta bend your legs, get low, square your body, so they'll give you the ball. They're not gonna give it to you standing straight up. Two, three. But Najib can only watch from the bench. Over the summer, Najib tore his ACL, had to have surgery, and now he's working hard to get back. This is actually, they, I'm doing my reevaluation today because it's been 30 days since my. Uh, since the first day of uh, rehab. It's feeling, you know what I'm saying, it's real good. I don't, know, I don't know why it's healing so fast, but it's really healing real fast. So after it's been 30 days and I'm already doing a leg press of 225 pounds, you know what I'm saying? So after a month of surgery, that's almost impossible to do. Najib needs to get well. He's got a free ride to Missouri and he's looking towards a brighter future. This is where I come from, man. This is, this is real life, you know what I'm saying? This is before, you know, anything else was going on, man. We didn't have anything. This is what we cooked on. This is the pot we used. We never had running water to even work in the tub. The toilet never flushed. Never had a working tub, toilet. In here, this is the heater we used to keep the bathroom heated up. This is what we used. This is our heat right here. This will motivate me. This is what I like to talk about. This is why I'm so hungry now. This is why I want to get where I need to be so I can support myself and my family. Because all that other stuff don't even matter, man. All that other stuff don't even matter. Najib's not only thinking about his family, but his girlfriend, Dominique. Where's my wife? Calls her his wife already. Where's my wife? My wife. Najib's waiting for his boo, his lady, while she gets her style on. At first, Dominique was upset Najib was going away to Missouri for college. Well, I didn't want him to go there, but at the same time, he said that was the best school for him. That one fit him real good, so I'm like, 
it's your future. You doing this to better yourself, so I couldn't really say don't go or whatever. But I did want him to stay here. If it hadn't been my choice, but True. we'll make it. Uh, they're both very positive, and they're good for one another. She's very supportive of him. I always tease and tell her, I don't know what you're going to do when he goes off to college. They are like two peas in the pod. You see Dominique, you see Najee. So when people are down in him or whatever, that means he must be doing something right because they got his name in their mouth. So I, that's what I try and tell him. I said, if you weren't doing nothing, then they wouldn't have their name in your mouth. So you must be doing something right. That's what I always try and tell him. He always say, if, if I uh, go to the NBA, as soon as I go, I'm marrying you. He said that's one that's part of his life that he don't have to worry about no more. You know what I'm saying? When everything going wrong, she make everything all right. right. You know what I'm saying? That's what that's once you find that in your life, you will never turn back again. You know what I'm saying? And you know who the, who who understands that now? Believe it or not, Kobe Bryant. Right, Kobe. Kobe Bryant the one that got married. You know what I'm saying? At an early age, because all the success coming his way and everything coming his way, he realized that man. He needs something stable, right. you know what I'm saying? He don't need to wake up to a different woman every night. You know what I'm saying? To, in order to get where he needs to get and be the type of person that he needs to be, he needs somebody stable. He needs some, a, a best friend in his life, just like Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan had a wife early, on, early in his career, you know what I'm saying, which helped him out in the long run. Everything ain't gonna be perfect, but you know what I'm saying, that's, you rather deal with that little drama than a plethora of drama like Sean Kemp. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what I'm talking about. If they're so young, and you know, I know that they're really into one another, but you know, I hope that they do make it. But I always tell you know, just you know, take it slow. Free the hard way, yes. <laughs> they are crazy, y'all. When you all three of them get together, they crazy. Jason, Jason is goofy. He is silly. He ain't keep you laughing after you go out to eat with him. You would just laugh the whole time. Your stomach would start hurting with all three of them together. For now, Eddie, Jason, and Najib are still kids. Coming up, Najib's hanging with his old teammate, Quentin Richardson, who's now playing in the pros. You know what I'm saying? This is how they living, man. This, this is great, dude. Najib's going to visit his high school teammate, now L.A. Clipper Quentin Richardson, before the game. In the lobby, Najib ran into Darius Mack. Still doing that thing on you? They love them from Najib, baby. Najib, Najib! Najib, Najib! I'm going to make you go get everybody something to drink. You better hush your ass up. Dennis Johnson used to fill it up for the Celtics. Now he's got a bunch of young kids to coach. It's actually been pretty fun. They, they kind of put the, the spirit right back into the club, uh, you know, which we were kind of really looking for them to do. And it's been a, a learning process. Uh, and I won't lie to you, you know, I wish they knew it all right now. But the one thing that they do have is, you know, or a lot of things is the zest, the zeal, the feel for the game, the love for the game, and they want to win. DJ loves having Darius Miles on his team but worries about kids going pro too early. Uh, I'm not the guy in charge of drafting uh, players, and if I would have had to draft a player, I would have never drafted a high school player. But I'm also smart enough to realize that, you know, if somebody's waving $60 million in front of your face, then that's that guy's decision. I, you know, I don't have to make that decision. For that one person or that guy, that woman, whoever it may be, they have to make that decision. It wouldn't be a decision I really would want to make, though. Najib, Q, and all they boys been getting their hair cut at the same place on Chicago South Side since they were shorties. But when you in the NBA, your barber makes house calls. Just to see these young cats come up, pursue their dreams, man. I mean, they ain't really like dreams, they goals that they achieve. And just to still be affiliated with them and know they, to know they still, you know, smooth down to earth people that don't forget about you. It's, it's, it's cool, man, to just hang around and lay it down the way I do. While Q's getting his style on in the bathroom, Najib's checking out Q's hotel suite. We in Quinn Richardson room in Chicago, you know what I'm saying? This is how they living, man. This, this is great, dude. All these bags for these one players, man. He, look, he got the 
the low top Jordans. This is how they do it to them in the NBA. He got the low top Jordans, baby blue. They haven't even come out yet. I don't even think they gonna come out. He got the, he got the gray mics, of course. The track shoes. <laughs> but this gonna kill you right here. These ain't even came out yet, man. These the, the navy blue and white. They got the black and red ones in the store right now. He already got the baby blue. Look, he didn't want. They won. Like they won. He, he, it's like he had them for I don't know how long. I mean, these ain't came out yet, man. These tight, man. These super tight. And of course, you got the. You gotta have a pair of tens in. If you don't got no tens, you know what I'm saying. You gotta have your tens. So they living good in here, man. They living real good. Ever since I was able to understand what basketball was and what the All-Star Weekend was about, you know, we've been watching it since I was a little kid. Watching Jordan in the dunk contest, and, you know, I just got a chance to be a part of it. I was in the rookie game. I helped Corey out in the dunk contest. So, like, you know, I was a part of that event. You know, you watch for so many years, the guys on the sideline, the other players just not in the dunk contest, hold up numbers with their cameras. You know what I'm saying? I was one of them guys down there. I had the camera. I was holding up numbers. and. You know, laugh and having fun. LA, LA cool, man. I mean, once you get past all of the all of the Hollywood stuff, cause, you know, every person you meet from there, every girl or somebody's a movie, they, they're about to be a movie star, about to be a singer, about to be a model. They all came down there to do the same thing. Clipper teammate Keon Dooley sliding through Q's room to see if he can get a cut, too. Uh, inspiration. The inspiration comes from within, you know. It's something we love to do. We're getting paid a lot of money, so if that don't inspire you, nothing will. Yeah, <laughs> life ain't bad at all. Like getting room service on a moment's notice. Tonight, they better kill the bulls, man. <laughs> I thought about kill them, murder them. Excuse me, how about? Yeah, I saw that, I saw that. I see about 20 and 10 today. About 20 and 10 tonight. I ain't got nobody on the team that can check them. There should have about 18, probably about four dunks. It's cool, man. Man, I can't complain. Getting paid good money, doing what we like to do. Having fun while we're doing You know, it's a lot of those young guys together, so we kicking it, hanging out. We all like to do the same thing. Only two hours to game time, and time to check out. Oh. Chris. Chris. Security. I need security, man. <laughs> Rookies usually carry their own bags. Hey, I should have carry my bag, man. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Well, Dude, that make me care. Make me care. Coming up, Eddie, Jason, and Najib all look toward the future. The average fan doesn't know enough about Eddie Curry's game right now to say we're going to go down to Thornwood and watch this kid. But I will tell you that you can't give Bulls tickets away. It's sad. Since MJ left, things have been rough for the Bulls. And general manager Jerry Krause knows kids like Eddie Curry are the future. Uh, certainly uh, high school baseball players enter professional sports all the time, and hockey players enter professional sports all the time. Nobody says a word about it. And uh, tennis players and you know many other sports do it. Uh, so it's not unusual in that respect. But I think it's up to the individual and his family. And Eddie, his dad, and Jason got better seats than Najib. But the big fellas just can't get comfortable. Things are right next to me, too, man. You know, you move over by Jason. Jason's smaller than I am. I don't know what happened. Oh, you're going to get right here, man. I'm saying it's better than being next to that big dude. You're so big, you know, all that heat. Eddie and Jason check out the cheerleaders on the court. <laughs> that was back there in the white. Way, way back there sitting down. I'll buy that for it, though. Huh? So I'll buy that for it, though. Uh, I'll buy that for a long time. Even though Eddie and Jason got better seats, they not going to leave their boy Najib out in the cold. We're trying to find Eccles, man. Trying to find a third party through the hard way. That's what we're trying to do. The last piece of the puzzle. When Eddie, Jason, and Najib get together, it's always laughs. Remember how you used to black out? <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you remember that? Was you around then 
G used like, to black out. Just for no reason? Just for no reason. Every day. This man used to black out. I don't know, dog. He used to black out. That man, yeah. oh, I swear to God, on, on, on yeah. everything. That man used to be at the free throw line, dog. He'd be at the free throw line. They just get to bend it over real slow. <laughs> Everybody be jumping around, saying, be like, calm down. He, it's normal. He just does that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just let him breathe. Come back to go 30. He yeah. never want to come out the game. Come he, back to go 30. like, he, G, get a rest. No, stand like, G, like, no. No, G was score 15 <laughs> before he blacked out. 15 after he blacked out. <laughs> 30 right there. Blackout post blackout. Yep. Night then you start drinking juice, you start drinking gallons of orange juice. Remember that? Them RG always used to have a big old thing of orange juice. We stop at the gas station. He just got tired of blacking out. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I get tired of blacking out too. One day you might not wake up. Just because Eddie's big doesn't mean his boys don't pick on him. That was me. He used to be a punk, man. <laughs> Still on me now. Still off you now? Still. <laughs> on national TV. Now what, B? B? Now what, B? Treat it up. Now what, B? Careful, Jason. The big man's about to start tripping. I'm sorry, A. Now what, B? Now I know you're going to try. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, man. I'm going to put your hands on me no more, Jason. Now what, B? You're going to say that. Hi, Mr. Eddie Curry. Can I get your signature? Wherever Eddie goes, Someone's always ready with a pin. That's part of being seven feet tall and the number one player in the country. It's 11. I'm going to be a cool mom for about 20 minutes. Thank you very much. You are. I'm not going to touch you, man. <laughs> no, I just want to touch you, dog. Say your girl for the come. You think Eddie was already in the NBA? Excuse me. Can I shake your hand? I don't know you, but they tell me you're good. All right, All right. Being with Eddie, man, it's like being with Puff Daddy or somebody, man, like some pop star or something. So he, he get most of the attention, man, but it's, it's nice, and I enjoy being with him, and I enjoy being around him. I have for our grand fair day. You don't hear me no autograph. Yeah. 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 And look at here. How did my man Luther Head sneak into this show? I gotta go uh, kick it with uh, Q and Darius, some other some other players that we know that we cool with. We gotta go talk to them for a minute, see what's up with them. You know what I'm saying? Cause they are boys from way back before they made it this far. What's up, Freak? What's up? What are you saying, What you doing? Scoring eight points. Shut up. Need the ball, Joe. I get with these guys, man, I feel good, man, you know what I'm saying? They make me want to want to work harder on the court, on and off the court, on the court in the classroom. Make me want to uh, stay in the gym and, you know, shoot an extra two or three hundred jumpers if I have to, to get where they at. Bull center Elton Brand knows the decision Eddie Curry's facing. He left Duke when he was just a sophomore. You know, the best advice I get to a high school, you know, uh, student athlete is, you know, make sure you know the information you get is real. You know, it's not a unscrupulous people out there trying to take advantage of young kids, agents, you know, um, you know, uh, friends. So make sure you know you know what you're talking. They know what they're talking about, and they're trying to steer you right. Now I just tell them keep working on the game, and um, you know when they get the time to shine, get their minutes, just do their best out there. How's your name? How you doing? It's coming on pretty good. You all right? I got you know, like four more months. Yeah, I know. Slowly, uh, it'll be by the time I get there. Okay, all right. yeah. No matter where Najee goes, someone's there to ask about his knee. My first evaluation yesterday has been 30 days in rehab, and I'm already two months ahead of my schedule for my healing. So, 
you know, I should be well, well, well ready by the time I get there. So um, we're looking at June. I should be able to get back on the court and play. Yeah, I mean, you see how small the world it is. Uh, the person you grew up playing basketball with could be the next millionaire. So I don't know. It's just funny how things happen. I had fun today, man. You did? Yeah, it was one of the days I really. I had fun today, man. I like being with you, man. I like being. I like being tall. <laughs> oh yeah, we got it. We got it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's how we do it. Yeah. Bring it up. When you're that close to your dreams, sometimes it's hard to know you're awake. Coming up on preps. When he was a freshman. <laughs> He was, he was an immature ass, to say the least. Cal Kleckner, the star of Downers Grove and his supporting cast. I just want to say that this man is first uh, 20 point night of his career. He's really pimping it out there tonight. I'm really proud of him. He kind of carried us through. He's the man. Getting it done on and off the court. If I could do anything, I'd just fast. do more the fashion shows. Fashion shows all, all the time. Cal and his cast of Crazy. Oh my God. On the next preps. I'm the king of the black top. Oh, yeah? Shout out to I'm one of you doing y'all story. How you feeling, bro? All right. <laughs> you got that game, big man. I haven't been thinking about getting a chance to meet you, but it's all great. Yeah. Hey, I'm out here with Big Eddie Curry, cuz. You glad that we talking? What's up, Jay Straight? Jay Straight, cuz. Hey, boy, you get nothing but love, baby. You know you get nothing but love. I'm in. Don't, don't pay me no attention. I'm, I'm bubbling. Don't even pay me no attention right now. I'm off work. Don't put none of that on tape, cuz. But it's love. Y'all handle y'all business, baby. Fox ain't allowed it, baby. We just be grabbing it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We just be grabbing it. I hear you. 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 I hear you